with Masters Legacy taking a grip. Uh, just held up there in the yellow cap. Beauport is behind that one. Then on the inside, Pounding Poet and Enemy Coast ahead in that little cluster at the back of the field as well. So uh, the vast majority of these runners then just seem to be ignoring Dash or Drasher at the moment. They're all riding their own races as Dash or takes off towards the far side of the track. He's up by about five or six lengths now. Kamaxos and Ned Fox, the seven pound conditional in second place. Four lengths to the good then over Dicky Diver. Then Monte Cristo and Red Risk in fourth and fifth. Two or three lengths Masters Legacy and Coeur de Leon. Then Black Mischief on the outside of Beauport with on the inside Pounding Poet and Enemy Coast ahead. In between them, just about their overall back marker as they go towards the fourth flight. Dash will drash up. Back over hurdles here. Jump that flight with aplomb and takes them down towards the second flight, number five. It's his first hurdles race since April 2019, Dash will drash up. Coming towards it now. Jumped it very smoothly indeed. A mistake by Red Risk, another horse that's returning to hurdles for quite some time. Made an error there on the inside, but Harry Cobden still got him on a nice even keel as they go towards the third down the back straight. Number six in all, Dashiell Drasher, still striding out with purpose and jumping beautifully. Kamaxos still in second place. Third then is Dicky Diver. Not often we see him, Dicky Diver. He's pretty lightly raced. He's on the Inside there, trapped by Red Risk. Wider out then, getting a bit closer now is Beauport, Masters Legacy's yellow cap. Wider still to Monte Cristo, seeking some better ground. An error there by Black Mischief, just dragged his hind legs through that hurdle. He's tracking Coeur de Leon uh, as they still wait before they start producing them. They're racing left-handed inside the final mile here now. Still at the rear as well is Pounding Poet, very quietly ridden towards the back on the inside as they move down the side of the course. Dash or Drasher by five or six, then Kamaxos in second place. Beauport is the one that's made good headway. He now goes into third. Coeur de Leon and Monte Cristo next. Black Mischief is in there with a chance as well. So too is Dicky Diver. Masters Legacy, Red Risk getting going on the inside. Uh, still traveling well as Enemy Coast ahead under Adrian Heskin in the maroon cap and sleeves. And at the back of the field, just pushed along now is Pounding Poet and Stan Shepard as they turn into the home straight. Just over half a mile left to take here in the Mansion Bet Handicap Hurdle, this Class 2 event as they move down towards the third last. Dashiell Drasher yet to see another rival. He's been jumping splendidly in front. He led over it by five lengths. Kamaxos running a huge race. Monte Cristo, by the way, pulled up before that flight. Kamaxos trying to close down Dashiell Drasher, who's now shaken up for the first time as they go towards the second last. Beauport is still traveling pretty well, back in third. And then coming on from the back is Enemy Coast ahead as they take the second last. Masters Legacy trying to get into it as well. And now Kamaxos is eating into the lead of Dashiell Drasher as they approach the final flight. Beauport trying hard back in third place. Here's the last flight then. Dashiell Drasher needs to pull out a bit more. Kamaxos got to within a length of him now but is now beginning to paddle a bit a furlong left to go dash or drasher gamely from the front Beauport now moves into second place but he's still got three legs to find dash or drasher very gamely seeing this out Beauport though is coming at him as dash or drasher starts to get a bit weary up towards the line dash or drasher hangs on and beats Beauport what a fine performance this by the front-running top weight there, Dash or Drasher. Back in third, Kamaxos, and then enemy coast ahead fourth. Well, that's a tremendous performance.